it's GCSE Physics Explained. Learning Objectives Understand what elastic distortion and inelastic distortion is. Understand that stretching, compressing or bending an object requires more than one force. Describe the difference between linear and non-linear relationships between force and extension. Distortion means to change shape. Elastic distortion means the object goes back to its original shape when the force or forces are removed. Inelastic distortion means that the object does not go back to its original shape when the force is removed. There is a permanent change in shape. For example, a metal drinks can undergoes inelastic distortion when it is crushed. For an object to be stretched, two forces must pull in opposite directions. For an object to be compressed, two forces must push the ends of the object together. For an object to be bent, two forces must act in the same direction and one force must act in the opposite direction. When an object is stretched, the object can extend in a linear or non-linear way. Linear relationship. If there is a linear relationship between the force acting on a spring and the length of the spring, a graph of force against length will be a straight line that steadily increases from bottom left to top right. For example, every time the force increases by one newton, the spring extends by two centimeters of length. We see that this is elastic distortion. If you keep applying force to the spring beyond the elastic limit, eventually it will stretch in a non-linear way. The graph will curve. We see this is plastic distortion, and now the spring has been permanently distorted. The original length of spring is the length of the spring when the force on it is zero newtons. You can see here, the original length of the spring was four centimeters. Please note, if we plot a graph of force against extension instead of force against length, then the line will be directly proportional at first, which means that the line goes through zero and is also linear. Once again, once the elastic limit is exceeded, then the graph will start to curve. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to my channel, GCSE Physics Explained. Thanks very much and bye for now.